It's probably the most common New Year's resolution to finally lose that extra weight, no matter how much it may be. What? How do you go about doing it the right way? Our next guests know a little thing about that or two. You might recognize them from ABC's Extreme Weight Loss, but the paperback version of their book, Extreme Transformation, Lifelong Weight Loss in 21 Days, just came out. Please welcome Chris and Heidi Powell to the show. Thank you, guys. So you guys, um, you first co-authored this book back in 2015, your first book together. It is, yes. Well, technically, <laughs> technically, she, she's co-authored my first two books with me as well. While doing that, raising four kids and a family, yes. and that yeah. I did not know about yes, you. Yes, four kids. How old are your kids? Wow. Four, she's had four uh, kids, Kids yeah. are um, 11, 10, 5, and the little one just turned three. Oh my so we God. have a busy household. Well, you guys, have, what a yes, beautiful family. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank they you so sweet. much. I'm assuming the kids growing up in a household where obviously fitness and nutrition is a big part of your guys' lives, so I'm assuming they, they're holding the mantle with you guys and learning all the, new, well, all the right tricks and tools to live in a healthy life. It is, but you know, it's not as extreme as most people think. They think, oh, well, you must have them all, you know, eating paleo or gluten-free, and they can't oh. have this, and they can't have that. No, kids need to have fun, they need to play, they need, to, they need rewards, they need enjoyment. So we try to wrap that all in, but we also wrap in the education. And, we, well, and yeah. you lead by example, and we talk yes. about that because eating disorders, dealing with kids that have a weight issue, such a sensitive subject, if you don't deal with it the right way, it's gonna be a lifelong problem. So. You two, as the super fit couple, you're leading by example, but but you're you're right on. You can't make it too much, too tough a job for them. What you say is absolutely correct. I actually had a, a history of an eating disorder, and it stemmed from feeling the pressure, uh, being pushed to do too much as a kid, and my parents thought that they were doing everything right, and they, they did, and I just ended up taking it in a bad direction. But as a parent now, I do not force anything. Chris does not force anything. We lead by example, and it's one of the coolest things in the world to have our kids say, hey guys, I know it's 8.30 at night, but can we go out in the garage and play? We want gym time, we want garage time. They want it, not because we tell them to, but because they've seen us do it, and we've led by example. It's the most rewarding thing as a parent. Well, and the other thing that I, that I see, you're professionals at this, but for the rest of us, if you have a partner who's on the same page as you are, that you are committed to being healthy and doing it in the right way and staying fit and eating right, then it's that much oh, easier. The chances of success go up exponentially if your partner is on board, hands down, because otherwise it is difficult when there's this back and forth and this battle, but then also getting down into the psychological aspect of it, you know, you have one person who's trying to change their life and the other person, yep. there's all these fears of, well, are they trying to change because they want to leave me? And, oh, but this is comfortable for me and I don't want to step outside of my comfort zone. So when you have one person who's made a committed decision to change and the other person hasn't made that decision quite yet, that can be a battle in and of itself. The, you know, we've dealt with this a lot, especially with the folks that we work with on the show, is, you know, one spouse, they're ready to go, and the other spouse yeah. is like, whoa, 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 hold on. He wants to lose weight so he can leave me. So, um, which is, again, that's the reality of the situation yeah, for a lot of point. people. We gotta talk about this stuff. Um, it is one of the best things you can do. Again, start to lead by example, but at the same time, if you're ready to make a change in your life, ask them what change that they wanna make in their life and let them know that you're gonna support that 100%. Don't force them to do what you're doing, ask them what they wanna do. And perhaps, you know, if they can get on board with supporting you, you can get on board with supporting them in whatever hobby they're looking to do. So it's gotta be a give and a take. It's not, this is a, it's not a power game.